Hi, Kathleen. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Disclaimer, we were supposed to do this together, but <laughs> it snowed because we're in Toronto and yay, winter. Yay, winter. But, uh, we will celebrate soon with some bubbles. Yes. Yay, yay, yay. Awesome, awesome. So uh, what are we, what are we chitty chatting about today? Um, I'm already laughing about the, what we're going to talk about because I feel so embarrassed by it, but <laughs> oh, I can't wait to hear it. Like, so we're, we were thinking of talking about like our worst audition moments, worst auditions, worst audition stories, whatever, however you have been it. And uh, yeah, you're laughing already. Do you, want, do you want to share your worst audition story? No, but I'm going to. Okay. <laughs> honest answer. I like it. <laughs> I honestly, I don't even know if I've taken acting classes at this point. <laughs> I might have been, but I, I was at that stage where I thought acting was really easy. Oh, well, you can just memorize a few lines and go in. And so I get this audition for this short film and I, I go to this casting and I guess I'm nervous, obviously. And I start, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> I start oh, to man. say the lines. <laughs> I start to say the lines, um, but then I'm forgetting them because I guess I didn't put enough work in and <laughs> wasn't really off book and nervous. And then I start to try to improv, but my improv skills are terrible because I've never improv before. <laughs> So I end up going to like my reader and I'm like, oh, you're just, you're just so attractive that I'm like forgetting my lines, but I was trying to spin it as a joke, but it was like coming out terribly wrong. And <laughs> oh, I can't believe you said that. <laughs> and I'm, so, I'm standing there trying, I'm like laughing at myself, trying to be cute. And they're like, it's a room full of guys and they're like, <laughs> okay. Um, and I was like, I'll just take it again from the beginning. And then I'm like, thank you so much. <laughs> like walked out the room and I was like, and I will never hear from them again. And my career is ruined. Cause like, <laughs> oh. oh my God. I love that story. That yeah. is hilarious. Dude. I honestly think that a chapter could be written on stupid things I've said to <laughs> the people in the room. <laughs> Because I've done that too out of nervousness, just been like, oh, 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 and like you say something dumb and it's like, oh, I wish I hadn't said that. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. That's amazing. That's that. Thank you for sharing that amazing story. I love it. It's actually made me respect you more. So. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sweating buckets. It's your turn. I'm going to drink my coffee. <laughs> my turn. Okay. So the absolute like worst cringy audition I remember having is an oh man like th this is a lesson in making sure that you are 100% clear with your agent on what your skill set is because I think with my agent at the time I'd like my background is in theater and whatever the communication breakdown was she thought that meant that I could sing yes and I <laughs> can't sing sing like I'll sing in the shower I'll do karaoke I like singing I don't have like an awful voice but I'm not a singer so she sends me out for this commercial audition and they're looking for singers and it's a song and I didn't even get the song when the, when I received my audition notice so all I had was kind of this breakdown and I was like okay this doesn't fully make sense but I'm gonna go in early to just kind of check in with casting and see what's up. So I did, I got there like half an hour before my call and I was like, hey, so, um, and I kind of explained the situation. I was like, I'm, I'm not actually totally sure what this is. And the girl looks at me and she was like, did you get the song? And I was like, song? She's like, yeah, there's a song you had to learn. You're gonna be singing it in the audition. It's like so I, right I had 15 minutes to try and learn and it's like a little jingle of a song to try and learn that and at this point I'm just panicking like I know there's no way I'm going to get this and I'm just like at this point hoping that I can survive the audition and everyone around me like people around me are kind of like softly warming up their voices and softly doing and I'm like oh you all are 
straight out of Randolph or something. Like, this is going to go very bad. <laughs> and also, so, that's the worst when you walk into a room with like musical theater kids and they're all like fantastic and you're like, huh. Oh. <laughs> and it's like, I, I just, I just said that I have a background in theater. I didn't mean <laughs> musical theater, like what's happening right now. So I go into the room with another actor because they were sending us in in pairs. Oh no. <laughs> and they had the lyrics on one of those little white note, big notepad things so we could follow along. And we were supposed to like harmonize and I'm just standing there like I just had to get through this and so like oh the guy beside me is belting out this beautiful song and I'm literally just stumbling to catch up with him and there's one point where I'm the one singing and I just like totally off tune super quiet because I was just so nervous and like the casting associate in the room just kind of looked at me like And I just, I could not get out of there fast enough. What are your funny audition stories, people? I want to know because we just told you ours and I'm still like sweating from embarrassment. So if you can just share yours as well, that would be great. Yes. I would also love to hear them um, purely just for my own amusement. <laughs> no, we'd love to hear them. And I think it helps to kind of, Auditions can be intimidating. So if we can kind of like joke about them and find the humor in them, then so much the better. So yeah, yeah. Send us your crazy audition stories.